Welcome everyone back to the Triples League. Uh, uh, we're casting another 3v3 game. Uh, best of three, I believe this one is. Um, you've got myself, Nanded, and I've also joined by B Champ. Hello. Um, and yeah, so we've got a few games for us tonight. Who are the who are the teams we've got here, B Champ? Uh, this is going to be mostly saving Devo, which is Mutt, Sniper, and Devo on a team against the Teluriax, which is going to be Rene, Puglin, and Kiki. Wow, yeah, so Mutt and Sniper and that first team, they were their World Cup champions. Uh, and Kiki is the 1v1 champion, so I think this will be a high quality game, I'm expecting. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So our first game is going to be on Bakuna Beach. Um, this is <coughs> originally an LB Frank map. Uh, what do you what do you think of this map, Nandit? Have you had much experience on it? Oh, uh, I've had a bit of experience on it. Yeah, it's not that commonly played actually in the community, but it's actually it is quite highly rated. Um, we started playing a bit more recently. Uh, yeah, it's interesting because there's a lot of resource, but it's uh, it's in a few different places, so you can go along the the closest route to the to the, each person's lab is not where all the resource is. Yeah. So it makes interesting battles. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I always forget about these water geysers back here. It's something that I, yes. I need to constantly remind myself. That can uh, cost you a lot, yeah. So I don't think any of the players will have had a huge amount of experience on this map, even no. though 3v3 is probably the most common type of game we get. I'm really, looking at there are a ton of geysers, it feels like. Um, maybe no more many more than usual. It's just three per player, which I think is... I think that's a bit that's, above that's, average. That's, I think normally get two and a half, two and yeah, three quarters. Two, two on Grove, two and a half on eroded forts. So uh, yeah. here we have three per player. There's a lot of geysers. Uh, similar to, I think, Hillfort. Do you want to just introduce where the players are? I think we've got Mutt up top there. Yeah, we got Mutt, Sniper um, in red, and Devo on the bottom right against the Tellurian team. Uh, Rene, who has a ton of henchmen. Uh, Will and Kiki. Will is also Puglin. So um, Kiki is going to be down here, probably one of the strongest players in this in this tournament um, against Devo, which is going to be a tough matchup for Devo here. Yeah, indeed. Because uh, yeah, I think they're, they're called mostly saving Devo because uh, Mutt and Sniper are the two experienced players on the team, um, and Devo is fairly new. But he has got pretty good recently, so it's pretty... Yeah. Yeah, he got all right, all right, really me. good really fast. So he's definitely not someone that you want to discount at all because uh, do that for a moment and then he'll just come in with a million units and roll over everybody. <laughs> and the Tellurians, I believe, got that. Are they mostly involved in the Tellurian mod development? Is that right? That's yes. where they get their name from. Yes. Uh, so it looks like we've got a lot of level twos coming in. Oh yeah, uh, the game's actually starting now. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like there's no early game rushes. Um, we got some kind of late early game, if you will. Uh, Cheetah Scorp coming out from Sniper. Yeah, looks like he's just doing a bit of scouting at the moment. Yeah, making sure there's nothing sneaky going around, going on around his base. Oh, but it looks like Rene has these uh, Skunk uh, Mantis. Praying Mantis, which yes. I absolutely love these. Um, they do do no longer have in the we're playing on the beta version right now. They no longer have Perma Frenzy, which is both high endurance and frenzy, um, which is a bit, which is too bad. It looks like Davo's trying to build a chamber out here, but it's gonna get seen by some of these horses. Um, um, what are these? Are he's these doing all right though. He's got a lot of units. Yeah, are they, these are melee. Oh caterpillars. yeah. <laughs> I just see a caterpillar, I assume it's artillery, but it's... Yeah, not. wow. Hello. It looks like Will has oh. this chamber here, which is absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Snuck behind enemy lines. This is going to be huge if Devo doesn't see that. And Rene... I don't think he has. Coming and destroying Mutt's geyser right away. Digging and hiding, but he did put up a sound beam tower, which is going to be pretty strong. Uh, hopefully Rene micros these and is able to get them out of the way, but it looks like they are... Uh, in a little just, bit of trouble. Just escaping, I think. Just escaping. Yeah. 
Um, and it looks like right. Kiki with these uh, Bola Spider Zebras coming in and uh, punishing Devo quite a bit. Sniper doesn't have a lot of pressure on him. Uh, <laughs> I think Devo must have seen Will by now if he's going to all of these. Surely. He, he hasn't um, seemed to have reacted apart oh, from building no. the, the buildings around. Uh, and Sniper, it seems like, is maybe just booming, so he could be pretty scary in a few minutes, mm -hmm. I think. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, May's dealing with that. Yeah, trying to put a stop to that right now and killing quite a few henchmen over here, which is going to be pretty good. Taking out really that, yep, all the henchmen at that expo, uh, which is going to be pretty strong. And it looks like Will's coming out with some units, but Devo surely sees now. Yep, finally coming over here. Hey, seeing this. Uh, this is already a really great game, and Renee is getting a lot of mileage out of these. Uh, Yunus, I, she does need to take yeah. this coal pile. It's taking a lot of micro to move these units around. Um, yeah. Mutt, in contrast, actually taking her expansion. So Mutt will have a lot of resources on this map now. Um, that is true, yeah, that would be scary. And he's going three. Oh, yeah. Let's Do see you have anyone else? Three. So Renee just three. went three, actually. Three. So uh, that's going to be really will strong for her. And Kiki did as well. At three. Yeah, uh, and... mostly saving Devo seem they have the advantage on the geysers, certainly the water ones at least. I think got two yes, out of definitely. Four. And it looks like uh, Puglin is coming in and putting some pressure on Sniper's geyser. Hopefully he can take that quickly. Kiki opted for the workshop in mid, which is going to be really nice. But Mutt here comes in uh, a lot of units, these gazelle lobsters uh, and these... Uh, electric hyenas are going to do really, really well because he just has so yeah. many of them. Even against what, le let's see what level threes yeah. Renee is pulling out ostrich porcupines. I think very, even very with funny. three, she might need some some saving. Yeah, yeah they do, they do move in a very erratic manner. It looks like. <laughs> and there comes some quilbers, which is nice. Uh, and then oh. here comes uh, some level three cam bulls. Uglin was also building chambers in the back of Renee's base to help save her, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is gonna this is looking really tough for her. Uh I think she's gonna need saving a little bit faster. And it looks like Davo and Kiki are in kind of a stalemate here, except Kiki does yeah. have these resources, which is gonna be really, really good for him. Yeah, uh, yeah that's been going on all game pretty much, I think. Back yeah, in the contest. Just holding the stalemate, but uh Davo's losing it right now since he doesn't have the contested resources. And, and he has artillery. Or he's, uh, Kiki has artillery versus range and sound beams. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, uh, Devo does have the, the spitting spider, which is, has the poison, which is going to be pretty strong as well. Uh, but uh, we do. I, I honestly think that the Celeriax, because of their control of mid, could take this, uh, even though Rene is a little bit behind. From Mutt right now, but I, I think that if they can capitalize on their yeah. mid control, this is going to be really strong. But Devo might have something to say about that uh, right now. Yes, yeah, I was going to say mostly saving saving Devo looks on top, but I think now that Renee has pushed back Mutt, it may be the other way around. Yeah, they just really need to capitalize on this mid control, upgrade some geysers, uh, take this geyser that they took uh, from Sniper, and that would be really really strong for them. And Kiki, I don't know if he has water units to take down this this geyser right here. That will be a quick win, I think. Puglin trying to go straight for Sniper's lab. Uh, but I don't think he's going to be able to do much damage with these ranged units here. Uh, no, there's enough, enough units quickly. to kill them. <clears throat> and yeah, it actually does look like mostly saving Davos coming into mid and just rolling through it. Uh, pretty cleanly. Devo, what is this going on down here? Looks like doing a pretty good job of uh, chasing back some uh, hippo cams. Yeah. And Renee's still unable to take mentioned. her geyser back. I haven't seen anyone else with any level 4s yet. It's, it's only Kiki that's there. Yeah, we can see Mutt's not looking at level 4 oh. yet. Neither is Sniper. Oh, there's Sniper just starting level 4 now, so Kiki really needs to take advantage of this level 4 lead. Um, Puglin also reaching level 4, that's pretty huge. 
there's gonna be some big advantages um, if they can capitalize. These prams should be able to have, be, have a pretty good matchup against all these ranged units. Yeah, and Mutt still got that that expert of Renee's. Oh, for Mutt a while for a two sided attack. <coughs> uh, right here, it's gonna be hard for for Renee to defend these two fronts and for her allies to yeah. defend her. Yeah, she's gonna have basically no uh, income left pretty much soon. So it's it's I think it's all on Kiki now pretty much to. Uh... <laughs> yeah, what do you, what do you think Take that uh, the Tell team needs to do if they want to win this? Uh, they definitely need to stop stop Renee from dying, but um, I think maybe maybe Puglin and, and Renee join up to stop stop each other dying, and Kiki tries to take take someone out, possibly Devo. But yeah. um, it'll be difficult to do all that and keep mid. So. Devo does look very very weak, and I think if we could just take this generator even uh, and take yeah. some elephants to just attack this expo, that could be yeah. Weird. That very very that... strong while while um oh but sniper's doing a great job at raiding puglin's expo here uh it's gonna be a lot of lost income for puglin who has these yeah. oh my god Huge. what mammoth lion but <laughs> wow well you don't you don't want to frenzy against multiple range units i don't think yeah oh, no. but they do look pretty hilariously large <laughs> I yeah. love mammoths uh, at all levels, but especially not at level five. <laughs> especially not oh the uh, lower level ones, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I don't know if I've seen any before. Uh, zebra mammoths are great. It's just all zebra. They're size nine zebras. <laughs> They're huge. Brilliant. At level three, every one for the zoo three. army. Yeah. Uh, this is really good. This is exactly what we were talking about. Kiki coming in and trying to take out Devo, because yeah. he could really use all these resources. I really like that he came in here, took some of these contested resources as well, um, and took this generator. That was that was a long time coming. Uh, but yeah. it looks like Renee is in trouble. Yeah, she's on her last legs. Yeah, but yeah. That is what's great about this map. It's like oh, the resources are ki kind of mid, but it's that ring where you you can't control it easily just from one area. Um, yeah, and Renee needs to t shift the focus uh, to her lab with these with these units to defend herself and buy her a little more time, uh, so that her allies can take out Devo. Uh, yes, Devo does need saving now. Yes, he really does. But it looks like Sniper and Mutt are pretty content to uh, just kind of leave him. Honestly, he's. I mean, yeah, we 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 do see yeah t one 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 player be a um a uh, uh, sacrifice and. Um, if they're in the right position, you can easily win two v three, um, because it, Renee's almost out as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in this, oh my God, look at Davo right now. He's about to have to turn on lab defense and lose everything. Um, but with Sniper coming in and taking mid, Will doesn't have a whole lot. This raid against him was really successful, and so it's going to be pretty tough for him to uh, hold any ground here. So. Really, what we need to see is well, exactly what we're seeing right here, which is Kiki. Well, we need to see lab defense, I think. <laughs> oh, he's oh. gonna turn it on last minute. There it comes. Oh wow! Uh, and that... There are a lot of units there, though, so that this could go down through lab defense at some point. Uh, I think he's making the right move and just leaving, uh, maybe leave a few units at Davos base, but he needs to, he needs to shift focus now uh, towards defending Will uh, or even Renee if, if if she's alive at all. Yes, yeah, I think you're right, because uh, they can't defend each other anymore. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> do you think is... he's going straight through to Sniper? Do you think that's maybe too, that'll be too late? Uh... Oh, well, I think he needs to defend his own stuff that he has right here, and then I do think that putting pressure on Sniper this way is going is, 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 is gonna to be okay if they're ready as a team for Renee to, uh, to be traded, basically, with Devo, then... Yeah. And it looks like Renee doesn't have lab defense on, so David's going to go down first. Um, yeah, that's right. And so, and yeah, and he's wow, he's taking this geyser. Kiki owns about half the map now, and it's coming straight <laughs> into Sniper's base, who doesn't have a whole lot. Sniper looking at level five. Is Kiki five. looking at level five? I don't know if Kiki has level five in this army, because Kiki's not going five, which surely <laughs> Kiki would be. I still don't know who's going to win this. Who do you think? Oh my god. Who would your money be on? Um. 
Oh, geez, this looks tough. Ma also has half the map. I mean, it really looks like Sniper and Will on the minimap are mirrored, and then it's Mutt versus Kiki. Um, yeah. <laughs> With Renee and Davo dead. Yeah. But... What is that in Mutt's base? Is that? That's that's not Kiki, is it? Uh, oh, that's Sniper. Sniper. Yeah, that's Sniper. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, Sniper's going to hit five because Kiki's oh, not going for lab. Yeah, oh, he, he, he couldn't have known, but no. yeah, if he'd gone for lab. If he'd gone for lab earlier, then maybe Sniper would have had to quit his level five, but now it looks like he's going to make it. I mean, to be fair, no, he's normally the best play to take out the, you know, the, the, the you know, the, the, the resource gathering buildings and henchmen first. But, uh, yeah, there's Sniper at five. There's Davo dead. Ready, boy. And oh, it's yeah, two v three situation. Yeah, but I mean, Renee is not looking long for this world. Is she going to use this flash to help <laughs> keep her alive for a little bit longer? Hopefully. I mean. I think lab lab temperature is is pretty low, so there's oh no, it's mid halfway actually. Yeah, so. she just turned it on not too long ago, so um, it's looking pretty decent. But it do, I don't think uh, Kiki has anything to take care of these bombardier beetles. Um, yeah, did Kiki bring a pure land? Well, actually, no, his fours are amphibious, aren't they? Yeah, but I don't think he has fives, and so he's not looking at five yet. And he it seems like he would have the resources based on all the geysers that he has. Um, but it might yeah. be an army choice thing where Kiki just doesn't have level fives. Yeah, I think that's that's dangerous on this map. Maybe he just that is one army that he And Mutt's a level five too. Oh dear. Yeah, that's going yeah. to be I think that's gonna be curtains for the Teleriacs. Um because no matter how many level fours Kiki has, if he doesn't go five, it's not really gonna Possibly, oh. yeah. He has the mass at the moment, so if he maybe maybe it's if they go sooner rather than later and keep oh, the numbers. He, he oh, he's going for five. Five. Oh, he is. He does have fives. So that's gonna be that's gonna be good. Or maybe it's a um, sacrificial five. He knows they're gonna lose, so he's <laughs> spending his res. Uh, no, I doubt that. Um, but he's gonna save Renee. It looks like. Mm. So this is a this is a pretty epic game, to be honest. Yeah, I. Did... I already had given up on Renee, but it looks like he just can't count her out. Uh, Sniper coming with a huge, hey. pretty large mass over here, level fives uh, and fours, which is going to take go through all of this undefended space, uh, take yeah, out a Keith lot of Kiki's resources. Pump out some units down there uh, while saving Renee, which it looks like he could probably will do actually. Mutt taking Renee's base call. I know. A very Mutt, audacious move. Savage. <laughs> and Will also hanging in it for a little bit longer. Um, um, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, Kiki doesn't have very many resources considering this has been taken out, this is getting taken out. Um, the, the map control is not what it used to be for Kiki. No. He does have Davo's base still. That's, uh, yes, he does have Davo's base, but isn't really using it to its full capacity. There's Kiki yeah, at level 5. Pretty. We'll see what Kiki can bring out here, but I, I would think that there's a lot of level 5 units now. Look at all these level 5s that Mutt has. Um, the, this level Art Flyer combo is going to be really tough uh, to, to fight against. Yeah, especially geez. these... Uh, uh, you don't see a lot of level 5 flyers, but every time I see them, they're very dangerous, it seems. Yeah. Oh. Oh, absolutely. And these uh, beluga muskox are going to be really, really powerful as well. Uh, Renee now. Not I don't suppose Will is left. looking at five. I don't think. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, he is. I shouldn't count him out. Uh, it looks like he's taking, helping take Davos' base. But uh, just looking at the mini map here, about. Over half of the, the minimap is dedicated to Sniper and Mutt at the moment. True, yeah. It's about two thirds, one third, I think. Yeah, yeah. And so, because, I mean, Kiki lost his whole expo here, which is very, very sad for him. Uh, but he does have these, and I really, really do like these units uh, Musk, Musk Ox, Giant Squids. Oh, I, uh, I think just yeah. high defense regen with the herding and everything is going to be, is, is, is very strong. Uh, also, these hippos. Uh, are really really good like how do you kill these things they have 50 defense upgraded uh, with regen and you can just yeah. build a ton of them because they're not very expensive considering they're level 5 
Yeah, and when they're in a mass, they they can take out things and then regen and then cycle in and out of. Renee is battle. still not dead. Wow. Absolutely Hero. crazy. <laughs> I mean, this is just an absolute slugfest, right? Uh, Will yeah, not it taking is. this, this would help him a lot with these idle hunters. Oh, yeah, those henchmen been on holiday for a while. Yeah, just <laughs> standing around and enjoying the sand and the beach. Uh, Kiki losing a lot of units, just a bad <coughs> micro there. And a lot of henchmen. Yeah, oh. yeah, Will's henchmen might not be long for this world now. Yeah, uh, just a lot of uh, Cypher's getting a lot of mileage out of these cuttlefish elephants. Yeah. Uh, there's Renee. Oh, Renee's down. Yeah, and I think this is very much looking in favor of mostly saving Davo now. Yeah, yeah. Who, yeah, who opted to not save Davo this game? Um, <laughs> it worked out. <laughs> Seems. Sacrificing Davo, they sacrificed Davo to the gods. Yes, always so sacrificing Davo. That would be the new. They yeah. got the still get still have the same uh, same acronym, so it's fine. Um, yeah, I think these these three v three tournaments are bringing out amazing games. Uh, so I think it's great that you've done it. Absolutely, uh, yeah, yo! This is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, seeing really crazy slugfests just like this, really high level plays. Um, and sacrificial lambs like Devo himself. <laughs> Indeed, yeah, there's so much back and forth. Um, well, what do you think was the turning point in this game? Ah, uh, it's tough to say actually. I think, yeah, it's for, it's uh, it's tough to say that. I think there were about twenty t turning points <laughs> in this game. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I think it, I think it, it probably we didn't really. It was difficult to tell from the looking, but I, th I think um, mostly saving David must have had the better of the the uh, the raidings of the of the of the coal, middle coal piles because either, um, yeah because uh, they ended up being able to push uh, more heavily. But having said that, it, it could be could be just the way they they use their armies. I really don't know. What do you think, Beachamp? Yeah, I, I I think that was a big part of it. I think. Um... Kiki didn't gain as much ground early on as I think. As Kiki blows lab. Yeah, as I think he needed to, and then Puglin, I don't think really, both of them together, I don't think really captured mid as well as they should have early on. Um, and it, mid is admittedly a very very difficult place to hold on that map, uh, but I think yeah, mostly saving David just did an excellent job of kind of rolling through mid. Uh, that was largely unsecured, and then from then on was able to kind of uh, keep the Tilleriacs on their back foot. Yeah, well, there you go. One down, one up for mostly saving Devo. Um, and it's best, is this best of three, I think, is it? So this is. Yes, it is. If they win this next one, they've won the set. Yeah. And so... we have Islet. Apparently this game is pure chaos, which is oh, wow. going to be that was how it was more than the previous so game. <laughs> yeah, the first one was this described as a slugfest. This one was described as pure chaos, which is a little scary for me as the caster because I think I'm going to miss a lot of a lot of stuff. Yes. Yeah, eyelets can be like that. Well, I'll, I'll point stuff out on the minimap as I see it, but because there's a lot of resources close by, so there's a temptation to kind of boom to three but if you do that you can get completely destroyed um at level two so we've got kind of bottom left versus top right isn't it yeah it looks like on the minimap there's the dark colored islands uh these darker greens so ah. these are all going to be uh mostly saving devo and then these lighter green islands on the top side is... are going to be the Tilleriacs. is that by design you know, I am not sure. I just noticed it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, send us in your answers oh, if you know. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, a mutt's out already. Um, that could just be a scout seeing what's going on. Yeah, mutt's not really the type to do proxy chambers. <laughs> so, uh, but he is the type to scout. So I would wager that. Yeah, he he always he always does a scout. Um, 
Oh, what I've seen. Placing a gen. <laughs> yes. What a bold that can be move. That's an so annoying, annoying play. Yeah. Ready, boys. Ready, boys. So it looks like uh, mostly saving Devo is being a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, no one is two yet, but Mutt is. Where's the. Sniper opting for a pretty slow two. Um, and there, there are. I do see teams have plans on this map where they they do do double double rushes, make each other's chambers, those kind of things. Uh, Mott's making two of his own and two of Davos there. Oh, so it looks like that kind of play is going down. Yes, definitely, and especially for this this middle player on 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 the team. A lot of times, four chambers are really helpful. And oh my gosh, I always forget that. <laughs> Tuna eels exist, and I'm very <laughs> sad <in the> seeing. <laughs> Pure swimmers with 47 speed. Wow! Insane. Oh gosh! Pure so, swimmer meta I... is my least favorite. If you've seen me cast anything before, that is one thing to remember. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'll try not to switch it off. Um, but <laughs> it is it is very useful. It's, well, it's, it's, it's vital in maps like this where you have mostly water. Yeah. Um, and it looks like they're going to be the backup, and these scorpion with frenzy going to be the raiders take out the buildings and then back up to the to the eels where they can be defended. Yeah, and so um, the two eels are going to defend the island, so Kiki's not going to be able to help a lot. Um, I do love these owl porcupines. So. Personally, I actually use these. Wow, they made short work. Yes, that flash was yeah very useful. Oh my gosh, yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, these owl they look like I love so much because they the quillbirds are just so good against really spammy, awful units like tuna eels or like uh, dragonfly yeah. scorpions. Oh, that burst was so good. <laughs> They are doing a lot of damage. Yeah, you don't. You almost never see Quill Burst, but uh, it is Yeah, useful. and with the camo, it is so fun. They kind of look like they could be real animals to me. Uh, uh, I love these Zebra Garfish too. Perma Frenzy. Uh, going in and really doing a lot of damage to Sniper's Generator. Is he going to be able to take it down? He and is. she did. He nice. Did. Yeah, so he's going to have to deal with that. But I think that generate did give him oh a lot my of gosh, time. Kiki. <laughs> Whoa! That lab rush. This is going to be a lab rush. But yeah. he's going through the middle. I think that's dangerous. He's going to be seen, isn't he? I um, think he's already been seen. I mean, he ha there's all yeah. of these units here. Yeah. Um, we already see some. Yeah. So, so, we're on the, so we're on the patch with level two flyers, which never used to be a thing before. And that is, is very enough? dangerous. I don't. I don't think oh, oh well, I... well maybe it is enough He's... oh they're so slow why are they sweeping around <laughs> so slowly now they gotta melt the lab or kill the hench what yeah i think do? kill that kill the air don't yeah i wouldn't go straight for the lab kill the hench and the air tiles as they come up and then devo will need saving again yeah oh my gosh um... it looks like sniper needs saving yes wow okay yes indeed sniper's uh, having to push he's... back a lot at the moment but he's not got many hench mining nor is devo so it's, it's all on oh, Mutt now, Devo has the Sonic, and that Sonic is going to be really good against these Flyers. Yeah. Uh, but that yeah. was a ton of damage that Kiki was able to do. And he, he can take out this gen and this the other workshop. Oh, but Renee, all the henchmen are gone at her base. I think I missed something. Uh, you, you may have done, yeah, Sniper. It must have been Snipers, uh, yeah, Lobsters and uh, Yeah. Eels. Oh, did you see all those tuna eels just get wiped <laughs> out by that quill burst? Absolutely magical. <laughs> So about that six at once. That is really fun. Wow. Oh, and yeah, these flyers get taken are... down. Yeah. <clears throat> I think at this point in the game, those flyers are now no longer useful. Yeah. I they can be incredibly agree. dangerous uh, in level two when there's no lab defense. We need to see the Chloriax take this island. Kiki needs to take this geyser back. There he goes. Um... Yeah. Because, yeah, Devo has actually had the other island this whole time. So it's not been crippled oh. as much that defile is annoying <laughs> yes that is the word for defile i think yeah uh renee is gonna have to take some time to get back on her feet i th but it looks like 
Uh, the Slurryx are kind of on their back foot right now. Uh, Devo is kind of I think, on. I think he's back up and running. Yeah, I think it's firmly in the uh, Tillery. Oh, sorry, in the yeah, mostly saving Devo's favor now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they had sustained a lot more damage, I think. Um, but it could could still go either way. I think. Is anyone looking at four? Oh, let's see. Huglin is not. Mutt is not. Sniper. No, Kiki, no. Uh, and of course, Devo, I think he's still getting on his feet here. Ready, boys. What are these giant lemmings? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lemming Beluga's three. 188.58. Pure wow. former meat. What the heck? Um, yeah, that can be. If you can control the seas, that's a long way to go, and you can control it, yeah, pretty cheaply uh, at the, the mid levels with you know, these kind of range meat combos these bombardier beetles are oh gosh i hate bombardier beetles and i hate pure swimmers so seeing them together is <laughs> so sad yeah it's got a huge range they can hit probably any yeah, any what is oh, what is I the think. range distance 50 meters so i mean this is just absolutely nuking uh will's hench and there's nothing he can do um and he has albials but they I don't know what they did, but not it didn't look like a whole lot there. Uh, Mutt building forward, anti-air towers. Uh, and this is just... It looks like Will is basically dead here. Uh, Mutt's just yeah. moving into his base. And, I mean, after Mutt's here for five minutes, that's squatter's rights. Uh, I think he just yeah, has that hole. Indeed. That. I think that's how it works. I yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> and, yeah, Renee's uh, not in great shape either. But um, I do love the Defile. He's just yes. putting out a lot of defile. Um, the defense. And Kiki's with the flyers doesn't have quite as much map control. Uh, in map he's taking the island. Normal. There you go. So if he, if he gets a couple of minutes to himself, he could he could mass an army. But I think I think that's that's what they need is a, it's a huge. The, the space from Kiki coming through. It looks like Kiki basically has a flyer army, and, and the tough part about a flyer <laughs> army is they are very inefficient uh, units when it comes to how much cost they are for power uh, because they're, they're charged the highest mobility for that flying. But they're being faced off against pure swimmers, which are the most efficient units. <laughs> also range, and range get a, a damage boost against flyers. So... Um, it's going to be pretty tough, yeah. I think, for Kiki on this map, even though it Eyeless is a great map for flyers, but against pure swimmers, it can be pretty tough. Uh, looks like Kiki does have some artillery here, which is, ooh, I like these a lot. Uh, Narwhal, and, Archerfish. Yeah, and I think now the flyers have been seen, they'll be they'll be expected, so often they're, often they're most effective in kind of situational circumstances when they're not expected or they're not prepared for. Yeah, oh jeez, this is uh, Mutt's still bringing out the level 2s to attack on land. Oh, and these sound beam towers are just punishing Will, uh, who can really not get a break here. And uh, Renee also has her lab just... All of her hench are gone, except just a few over here. Has to build a workshop out of the way just so she can convert. Uh, which is a, yeah. always a bad sign. Yeah, you know you're in trouble there when you get the, the workshop in No Man's Land. And yeah, I think yeah, this is looking more and more yeah, in favor of saving, only saving Devo. Always saving yeah. Devo. So. <laughs> Who's bringing the bats out? Yeah, and these nightmares are coming up, and they're going to just decimate this mining line. Uh, if you guys have never seen nightmares before, you're about to have some bad dreams about them. Uh, or maybe <laughs> not. Maybe he's gonna go for Kiki. Uh, that was nightmares just fly no. by. <laughs> you shouldn't have to worry <laughs> about them at all. It's just a scare tactic. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Batman. He just announces uh, that he's Batman, and that's it. Is... Kiki does have the middle gen, actually. I just noticed, which can, can be important in this map. Yeah, that can be really big. <clears throat> uh, Devo coming in Buddy. now. I just noticed the bombardiers can actually reach that gen. Um, but yeah. Oh, there's a lot of defiles. Oh, he missed! So, he missed! Oh, no. He swerved away. Oh my gosh, he's... 
Oh, I'm I so that henchmen are running that to the so defiled sad. area. That is so uh, sad. Oh my god! Uh, I haven't used only... defile myself, but I do know it. It has a bit of a delay, doesn't it? So I think you have to kind of time your your trigger oh, just there right. There we go. There we go. That's a good there one. Yeah. <laughs> There's too many to get it wrong. For long. Yeah, these henchmen are about to be all gone. Uh, Cipher coming in the back, and again, Soundbeam Tower is on someone else's island. Uh, you need a permit for that. And uh, <laughs> that is just not allowed. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, uh, all of Kiki's henchmen are, are basically gone now. Uh, yeah, and that could be game, set, and match. Yeah, I mean, that's that's certainly the game now. And so that means that in this best two out of three, mostly saving Dago, Devo uh, wins. If they, I mean, they're going to win this game. Yeah. Oh and... gosh, absolute chaos. There's Kiki blowing lab. <laughs> yep, and Puglin, and then uh, Renee. There it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, as we said, yeah, two very strong teams. But I think the whole tournament's uh, full of strong teams, really. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and great work to mostly saving Dave for, for just... Um, they, they had a plan with that one. I like that they had that rush tactic at the beginning with the two Neils and the uh, Piranha Scorpions. And yeah. um, it didn't, I don't think it, the, the, the rush itself went according to plan because Will had those hilarious uh, Quill Burst units that were able to do a lot of damage to spam. Um, so yeah, <laughs> great unit choice, great job by Will. Um, but the, the the pure swimmers just controlled and dominated the entire map um and yeah. then the, the the nightmares at the end was kind of just like the the icing on the cake kiki who was the strongest player the old, basically the last surviving player at that time just completely wiped out by those nightmares uh forcing him to blow lab yeah indeed uh yeah i think like as you said i think teamwork's very important in these 3v3s and prep and i think both teams have done a fair bit and we definitely saw a lot of that so yeah it was exciting to see uh and yeah it was was a exciting game that last one i'm sure we put we probably missed a lot of stuff yeah, <laughs> but there was so we, much we still on. saw <laughs> yeah turn turn back to renee's lab and all the henchmen were just gone I'm like oh i think i missed something anyhow um we can cut it we can cut it off there thanks nanded uh and thanks everyone for watching no problem, see y'all.